the goal when mastering is to achieve a sound that can be played back on the consumer grade equipment with relatively high degree of fidelity but still retain its detail and nuance. Hello, my name is iMix. I'm a mixing and mastering engineer. And today we are going to master the music from start to finish. Yes. So tighten up a bit because it's going to be a long ride or an interesting one in there. All right, guys. Here we are in Cubis. So uh, let's take a listen to the track we're going to be mastering today. It's by uh, Kupi Kid. He's a dope artist. And who they blow me? Ain't nobody know me. One of my guys and they hold me down. Say make a way to go so reach my time. They will go reach my time. But to get love. Lift that no one saw. But to get love. So that's it. And my change for this master was very simple because I was the one that mixed the the track and I knew what I was doing when I was mixing. I know the things that I used. So I know what I was going to use when it gets to the mastering stage. So that's why it's going it's not going to be much. So for the first one, that's a Pokey 3. I picked this because it allows for ne linear face. Oh, let me change this range to 30 so that you understand. You won't be feeling like maybe I'm boosting too much. No, I'm not boosting too much. This is a mastering stage. I'm not boosting up to a dB. So, but I like using this 3 dB range because it shows me, uh, like, it's allowing me to see clearly what I'm doing. So, for the mid information, I think I boosted now up to 0.5 dB around 80 hertz just for the punch and the bass to stick out in the mix area then i boosted around 3.5 kilowatt 0 0.5 db just for the vocal to stick out in the mix then for side information i use the ipass filter to roll off the side information from the low hand so that the kick and the bass will be more focused in the mid then i boosted around 300 hertz because i like the side information around that area so i boosted not to a db where i boosted the vocal in the mid range I had to need to decide information so that the vocal sits in the middle. That's what I did for the equalizer. Then moving on to the next one. Where is MM1? I increased the amount to around 50. So it brings up the low level details in the mix. It's like an enhanced function. Out of this five limiting style, I picked the wide. I want to compress the mid and leave the side alone so that it's it to make the mix to sound wide. So that was the that was why I used this MM1. Let's take a listen. I know they blow me. Ain't nobody know me. You can see the mid is being attenuated and it's not attenuating anything from the side. Because it's the, the full mix to sound more wide. So that's what I did with this MM1. Moving on to the next one, Suit 2. I think with this Suit 2, I, there's a my string preset here that I used Master by Godwin 2. I like what it did to this string. So, and you know, Suit 2 is a very intelligent plugin, a dynamic resonance suppressor. It's automatically detect uh, the ash frequencies and dump it down automatically. So I like it. Moving on to the next one, that's the T Rex. With this classic clipper, I boosted, I used it to boost to get more volume. So I boosted around 5 dB. Uh, I turn it around um, negative 0.5 dB for to avoid clipping. Then followed by my limiter Pro L2. I like turning off the true peak limiting because in my own opinion, it does more damage than it fixes. Out of this uh, limiting styles, I decided to go for these dynamics in this particular project. And I like to turn off or put my look at to zero. I like using the card instead. I use over sampling. So let's see what this sounds like. I know they blow me, and nobody know me. One of my guys and they hold me down. They make a way to go so reach my time. They will reach my time. But you get love, lift that no one saw. But you get love, lift that no one saw. 
Right now who they blow me Right nobody know me One of my guys and they hold me down Say make a way to go soon reach my time They will go reach my time But to your love Live there no one saw yeah guys so i hope this video is informative enough i hope you get one or two from me so i hope you say something that you can incorporate into your own mastery so uh let me know what you think in the comment section and hit the like button subscribe turn on the notification bell because videos like this I going to be coming out your way and you don't miss out trust me so turn on the notification bell and don't forget to be creative get up do something create something and i'll see you in the next one